Are you feeling shy? I used to be shy and introverted. Does that mean that you cannot achieve the success that you want? No way. Guess what? One out of four people consider themselves shy. Even famous actors and singers, they are shy, yet they are very successful. I'm not saying you need to be an actor or a millionaire, but if you have any dream that you want to achieve, just like I did, I wanted to quit my corporate, I wanted to be my own boss, I wanted to travel the world in beautiful locations like this, and I did achieve my dreams because I was able to shake up that shyness, and that's what this video is all about about. I want to help you with giving these tips to shake up your shyness so that you can achieve the things that you really want in your life. If you don't know me by now, then my name is Rachel Smets. I quit my corporate a few years ago to achieve the life of my dreams, which I'm living right now. And I took the steps and I help other corporates to create that escape plan because I always say, do not take the leap of faith, but take a parachute and then jump. And that parachute is the escape plan so that you know what to do and you're ready to quit when you want to quit. So my videos are every single Wednesday, motivational, inspirational, take action, take steps, overcome your fear and make sure to subscribe on that, you know, that red little button and hit the like button and just make sure that you follow me every Wednesday because I want to reach more people and inspire more people. And the more you like it and you comment and you subscribe, the more people I can reach. So coming back to shyness, look, we are not born shy. A baby is not born shy. It starts screaming and shouting. It's not shy. How do we create this shyness? Because we start caring about, you know, what are other people going to think of us? And what if this and people or our parents or educators, they start putting ourselves more in, in a box like, hey, you're good in doing this and maybe you should be doing that and not that and, and, and watch out not stepping out of your comfort zone because this is your bubble and stay safe and stay here and anyway that shyness is a belief that we create throughout the years but we're not born shy now being shy or being an introvert it's not a bad thing like i was shy like i said i'm an introvert i like to be alone yet does that mean it should stop me from achieving my dreams no I'm taking steps, I shake up that shyness and I use it, I, I confront it, but I still put in the effort to achieve the things that I want to do. So that's what I want you to understand. It's not a bad thing. It should not stop you from achieving the success or the goals or the dreams that you want because you're shy, because you label yourself shy, right? So just to be clear, there's a difference between being shy and holding yourself back from achieving the things you want or being shy and actually pursuing and putting in the effort and the dedication and the commitment to actually achieve the dreams that you want. And if you're that kind of person, just like me, then here are the tips that are going to help you. Number one, stop focusing on you and start focusing on the other people. Focus on the others. Here's the thing. I used to always like look at me and, and think that people are always focused on me and what am I going to say? And what if I look dumb? And what if I ask a stupid question? And what are people going to say about me? And I just turned all the focus on me. But once I start realizing, wait a minute, I'm going to be curious and ask questions about them and show my interest in the other people. That's how I could really take a big step to overcome my shyness because it's not about me and people like to talk about them. So start being curious about them. And in any conversation, instead of be being afraid of what are they going to think about me, start focusing on them, ask them questions. What do you do? Where do you come from? Um, you know, start asking questions to them and show your interest to the other people and stop focusing on yourself. Number two, stop advertising your shyness like stop telling people like oh i'm shy you know i'm, I'm not going to do that because i'm shy or i can't do that because i'm shy hey here i am i'm shy nobody can see it unless you say so and you know what a lot of people it's just like when you see somebody very successful and you're like oh they're so successful and they're so confident but really they're not 
you know, and there are famous actors and singers who actually are not so confident and they are shy and they are introverted, but they're not showing it. And you cannot see it. We cannot see it. You can't see the feeling of, of shyness or introvert. So stop advertising it. Stop telling people like, oh, I'm shy, I'm shy. No, just act confident, do the things you need to do, have the conversation you need to have. And nobody can see that. You think that people see your shyness, but they don't. So don't advertise it. It's that simple. Number three, do not label yourself shy. It's not your identity. Being shy is one of your many threats, but you have so many other unique talents and characteristics and threats. Why do you label yourself like your identity is like, oh, I'm Rachel, I'm shy. No, no. I'm Rachel, I have many other talents, I can communicate, I can read, I can organize, I can manage, I can speak, I can, I can do so many more things than just being shy. Your shyness is not your identity. No, it's not. So stop making it your identity by labeling yourself like, hey, this is me, this is my identity, I am shy. No, look at all the strengths and all the talents and all the skills that you have Besides being shy, right? Look at those things. Look at those strengths and that will really fill you up and, and, and look at yourself from another angle than just that one tiny angle of shyness. Number four, start taking small steps. Start taking small steps to overcome that shyness. Look, being shy is okay, okay? It's not a bad thing, not at all. It doesn't have to be negative, but you have to put in the effort and you have to persevere and you have to dedicate yourself to do the things that you want to do and that you want to achieve. So for me, actually my big, big breakthrough was when I moved abroad. I really, really wanted to live in another country. I really wanted to move abroad. But yeah, there I was not talking to anybody and I'm serious. I didn't speak to, I didn't speak up. I was afraid. I was always in the back of, you know, I didn't speak up in a meeting. I didn't, even with my family. I remember as a kid, my parents were like, you know, oh, come on, Rachel, say something. I was just not speaking. I was just so afraid of what others would say or afraid of how I look, of what I would, you know, I was really, really, really shy. But I wanted to move abroad. I wanted that experience. And here I am, 20 years later, I'm, I'm still traveling the world. So, I, that dream of mine was just bigger than just keeping myself back and holding myself back from achieving the things that I really wanted to do. And so when I moved abroad, I started talking to strangers and I thought, I need to, I need to step up my game. I need to speak up. I just have to do it. So I want you to push yourself and, and speak. But when I say take small, tiny baby steps, micro steps, I call, I like to call them, is talk to somebody in the elevator. Talk to, like when I come to a new country and I don't know anybody, I go to the supermarket and I just say hello and thank you to the cashier. You know, or you can easily start a conversation about the weather. Like, hey, today is really a uh, really nice and warm day. Or, oh, today was raining all day. What a bad day. You know, if you have these tiny conversations with somebody that you don't know, and you don't have to move abroad to do this. You can just go to any supermarket or any store or any shop or an elevator or in a building. Just, you know, or smile to someone just or somebody sitting at the bus station. You know, just start a tiny conversation about the weather or anything tiny, nobody's going to look at you like, dude, you re you, 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 you weird, you know, what are you doing? Or, 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 you know, you're offending me or anything negative. No, you're just having a conversation. If they respond great, if they don't also great, but it's just getting into the practice of starting conversations. You know, if you want to use, if you want to be shy, but yet achieve your dreams, if you're, if you don't want to hold back in your life and, and live a life without regrets, you have to take some small steps and some small actions. And the thing that drove me through and through and through year after year until today, it's, I do not want to grow old with regrets. 
I do not want to grow old with regrets. I don't want to be 90 year olds or 80 year olds and looking back upon my life thinking, oh, I wish, I wish I spoke up. I wish I have done that. I wish, I wish. No, no. If you're shy or introverted, that's okay, but take action, put in the effort, take steps, take micro steps, steps, talk to a stranger, do something, but do something. Just do something, take action, that's what I mean. So here's the thing. If you want to shake off your shyness, think about your drive. Like I said, for me, my drive was to live a life without regrets. I wanted to travel the world and I wanted to try all these things out and be able to grow old and looking back upon my life without regrets and doing the things that I really wanted. So I had to persist. I had to put in the effort. I had to use my shyness and just deal with it. And that's what I want for you. I want you to comment below, like, what is your drive? What is your passion? And then focus on that. Don't focus on, oh, me, here I am, I'm shy. No, focus on your drive and your passion and your dream. And, and comment below, what is that dream? How can I help you achieve that dream? If you want to talk to me, please do. I'm here for you. I want to help you. I want you to achieve your goal and your dream. All right? So please make sure to subscribe to my channel because that's my dream. I want to inspire more people and I want to help more people to quit their nine to five and to live a life of their dreams. So please subscribe, like, and comment below because I want to hear from you. I really want to hear from you and I hope this video was very helpful for you. So shake up that shyness and go out there and achieve your dreams.